Hey there YouTube friends, Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. We are back here in Airport CEO, and if you like the content, please hit the like button, leave some love in the comments, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, there's a problem. <laughs> there's an issue, and the issue is um this, this, right here. Is um, all wrong. This is all wrong. This isn't going to do anything good for us. Uh, some people in the comments of the last episode mentioned that my runway can't handle medium sized aircraft. It's going to make it really hard <laughs> to have medium sized aircraft land in these medium uh, air uh, plane stands. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. So, uh, what I ended up doing is I actually ended up going in on my own off camera today and, and trying to figure out what's going to work for us. Um, it turns out, <laughs> we have to start over. I have to start over. Um, until I can unlock new maps, new map parts like over here, until I can unlock that, it doesn't matter like what's going on. I, I need to be able to stretch the runway out so we can land medium sized aircraft. So we have to stick with the little ones for a while. Uh, we can still do commercial. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some um, <clears throat> uh, commercial small aircraft. So it's gonna be a really small airport. Like we're talking like a, re not even a regional airport, like a small little airport that has a couple small plane stands. And we'll start there and see what we can see. So what does that mean? Well, that means that this is just a little introduction to the episode here. I'm actually going to go jump into time lapse now, and we're going to rebuild this airport uh, to better fit <laughs> what we can actually do with it. So uh, we're going to continue along with the series. This is still going to be episode number three. We'll call episode one and two a major learning um experience it's an experience a learning experience so uh, sit back relax and enjoy the time lapse and uh, i'll come back afterwards and talk about what it is that i have set up and how why i set up what i set up so and we'll get some airplanes so there will definitely i said in the last episode that we would have airplanes in this episode we will have airplanes <laughs> in this episode can't have airport ceo without airplanes so we will have small little prop airplanes <laughs> at the end of the episode. So uh, enjoy the time lapse and it'll be coming up right on the other side of this cut.
Alrighty, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little time lapse there as we got our airport basically situated and ready to go. A quick overview, you'll notice I rotated the map. Uh, in our first attempt at this, we built it this way and built out. I decided to go this way, and that'll give us an option to make a big U around whatever we're making here, and that'll be... I think that'll be better for us. We have a bit more room to play with here. You also notice how narrow I've made everything. It's intentional. Airports are not that wide, now that I think about it. Like, if we extend um, uh, some gates over here, what I'll end up probably doing is probably moving the, um, this little, I'll just... Yeah, I don't think I actually widen it at all. I, uh, maybe I'd widen it, but probably won't widen it much at all. Um, so, anyway, uh, just some uh, a look at what we've got. So, uh, we have to add some cues. I want to do that for our for our gates here, for our uh, check-in gates. We don't need a lot because these planes don't hold a lot, which is kind of nice. Um, it obviously lower revenue, but that's okay. Um, at this point, I just want to get comfortable with the game again, you know? So, um, we're gonna build the cute, and apologies if you are, if you notice the sound has gotten, if I, if my voice has gotten a little softer, uh, it's pretty late here at night when I'm doing this recording, so, you know, the family bees asleep. There we go, nice long queue for security. Probably doesn't need to be that long, but better safe than sorry. Have some bathrooms here. Uh, I don't, did I make, those are automatically secured, are they not? I gotta make sure those are secure. I don't. Yeah, they're secure. All right. So we have our bathrooms. We have our men and our women's bathroom. They're small, but again, there's not that many people that are gonna be in here. We can make this something, uh, maybe a food uh, part or something. So you come in, you can grab a snack right away. Um, that might be nice to do later on. We'll leave a little space for that. I have a staff room that's pretty snug down here. We're not. We don't need to be very big. Um, if we can extend it, actually, why don't we extend it? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's let's actually bring it up here. There we go, and that'll make one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll be okay. I'm okay with that. Um, what I'm gonna do then is delete the room. Yes, and we're gonna make it a staff zone. Doot, and make the whole thing a staff room. I don't want that to be. Okay. Can I make this whole thing a staff room or does it have to be a square? Oh, it has to be a square, doesn't it? Oh. Okay. Well, that sucks. I think it has to be a square. If it doesn't, let me know. <laughs> if it doesn't, let me know. Um, but I'm pretty sure it, it looks like it has to be a square. That's not a problem. Yes, I want to delete the staff room. We'll just make it a bigger square, uh, which means deleting all of this, but I'm fine with that. So, doot and doot. Uh, demolish that, please. There we go. It'll make it bigger, and all we'll do is we'll add some more couches and stuff, maybe a couple more computers, because we don't need that much yet. We're not, we're not that far into it, so... There. Now it's the whole thing's a staff room, right? Did I make the whole thing a staff room? Yes. Cool. So it is a staff room already. Cool, 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 cool. Put that computer there. Actually, no. Boop. Put that... No. Put the computer where it's going to go once they delete the walls. Let's speed it up. I slowed it down. Thought we'd be doing a little more talking, but I'm going right into the building. Uh, maybe fix this, and then I'll show you what's going on. Oh, come on now. That's not cool. Delete it, please. Delete that wall. I need you to do that for me. Thank you. Chunk. Whoa, look at all the people hiding out in there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Go medium quality couch. And let's put one there. There we go. We can put a chair. We just need people to sit, places for people to sit and, you know, take a load off. Put a plant. Plant. Decorate. What's it do? Makes it look nicer. Does it actually do anything? 
I do that I don't know. So we got a little break room there. Let's give the break room a different floor. A light wood floor will look classy, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Swank. So we've got our staff room. We've got security. You get your stuff. You check in for your flight, go through security, hit up one of the three gates, come out this way. Yeah, so this is going to be fine, and pff, out you go. So that's kind of how I want it to work. I think that'll work just dandily for now. Um, yeah, that'll be good. So um, some things to think about. We have our um, de vehicle depot and gas. We have, uh, I don't think we set up a contract yet, so let me do that. Let me go up to, no, not loan, economy. I don't need a loan. I need a contract for the gas. So we have, we see we have airlines already, we'll talk about that in a second. We have nature fuel, which will supply Jet A1, which is what we need for commercial. I thought even the little ones would use av, av gas. no. Even the uh, commercial airlines, even the little propeller commercial airlines use that Jet A1. So we're going to take that, <clears throat> they'll send it to us. Now that we have our contract, here comes the little oil truck, or the gas truck, going through our security checkpoint here to get into the backstage area of the airport and he's gonna dump the gas into the jet a1 fuel tanks and then our little vehicle that we procured in the time lapse will pop out fill it up and go back and I like that I think it's really cool so here we are look at this take a look at that that's pretty fun green arrow gas and look immediately our little truck comes out ready to be filled and it takes uh, about two-thirds of the tank here so if we get two trucks, we need that they'll send us as it empties. They'll send us more gas, but pretty cool. Oh, look, there's already another one coming to fill up. There you go. So that's pretty good. So we'll be able to refuel. So actually, what I want to do is I want to toggle that on. Refueling is available. Really, review fueling services. Goodness, are available. We need to hire some ramp agents, um, and then we can turn our airport on, and we'll be good to go. Uh, the thing that I always forget is you got to turn everything on. So we're going to turn our runway on. No general aviation. Yes to commercial flights. Yes to small. This is what screwed me up. I can't make medium aircraft land. The air, the, It's not long enough. We've only got 1,969 feet. We need 2625. So that's just not going to work for us. So we do want it to take off and land. Arrivals and departures. Let's turn it on. Oh, I've got to add one thing I always forget to do. Nobody's going to land until I add the holding points. And there we go. And let's set one over here. No, here. Set it. There we go. Cool. So now we've got our two s runway points so that they'll stop before they and venture onto the runway, that'll be good. And you'll notice in the time lapse, I had all this set up and then I just deleted it. I thought that'd be better just to start small. And once we've got these three gates operating and we wanna take on a, a bigger load, we can add some more down here. We can stretch out to here. And then what we can do is <clears throat> we can, uh, what I'm thinking is we'll stretch out this way and then we'll probably come down this way. So we'll have this whole outside filled, and then the inside will be all the amenities and stuff. I think it's going to be rather difficult. Or we can come out and do like a T. That'd be kind of cool, and just have the airplanes come all the way around so we can access this whole area. That might be something fun to do. So anyway, our runway is on. We have to turn our gates on. We want for commercial. Uh, stand is not active. De stand is deactivated. Cannot transfer baggage. That's fine. Stand cannot transfer passengers. It will be fine. Security checkpoint is connected. So what you need is you need to have it connected to a boarding gate and you need to have it connected to a security checkpoint to uh, kind of to make sure that your people can all get through. So come on. There we go. So there we go. So everything's on. Everything's ready. We need to take some flights, but let's hire some people first. So I'm going to go into the employees and uh, applicants. Let's get some staff to run all of our different um, all of our different desks. The staff at Slim Pickens, it looks like. We'll hire you, we'll hire you, we'll hire you. Uh, and I guess we'll hire you too. We're gonna need some more. Oh, let's have it playing, actually. We might get some more. Uh, janitor, we'll get a couple of janitors. I want, you look okay. And, oof, this is tough. Um, I guess you're okay, so we'll do that. 
Uh, ramp agents, we're gonna need some of them. These guys suck. Oh my god. We'll take you. Jeez, and we'll take you. We'll take you. And I guess we'll take you. Oh, and sure, you pop up now. And security, we need about four. So we'll take one, two, three, and four. Okay. So now our staff will be coming in. There they are, man in their posts. Our security is ready to roll. So that's pretty cool. And we've got all of our extra staff just hanging out, waiting for a job. Look, there's our little ramp agents. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. They're resting in there. And our executives are in, and agents. Pretty cool. I don't know what the orange guy is. What's this guy? Oh, a janitor. Oh, cool. So the janitors are in orange. All right. Neat. Cool. All right. Let's go in back into the, uh, not loan. Let's go into our contracts and let's get some airlines. Stripe Air. Hmm. Let's get some Stripe Air. So Stripe Air, you're going to come with us. And we're going to get another one. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's about Goose Wings. Let's do some Goose Wings. Goose Wings established in 2012 as a subsidiary of a well-known high-quality airline company. Okay. Sweet. Sign. Nice. All right. So we've got those. Now this is what I was confused with. If I go into my flight planner, I've got it set for... 60% small, 30% medium, 10% large. Let's get rid of the large and let's get rid of the medium. I want all itty bitty planes. And then what'll happen is I'll start getting airlines to come and give me stuff. So flight number is going from Henry Post Airfield to Mass Bandit International here in Houston. So we need to have at least three hours. So I'm gonna put this, or let's set it for noon. Confirm. So noon. Okay. So now we have a flight coming in at noon. It's just that easy. And then as we get them on time and all that stuff, uh, they'll start trusting us more. Our airline satisfaction will go up and they'll start handing us more. So we've got one of our 30 active flights, So, which is pretty cool. The maximum number of flights is affected by the airline satisfaction. Any number of flights that are currently scheduled for this airline and the maximum flights the airline is willing to operate. So we can have up to 30. We've got one right now, and this is a two-star. What does that mean? Oh, it's cool. Two-star, because we have the fuel reservice and we have a concrete stand. So we can accept one and two-star uh, classes. We can't get three yet because we don't have baggage service. Um, but other than that, we're going to be good to go. So that's kind of cool. So there we go. And we don't have any other flights yet. Oh, we do. No, we don't. No. Okay, so we don't have any other flights yet. We'll wait. That'll that it'll it'll happen eventually. So what's gonna happen is as we get closer here, as the time gets oh we have new flights, good. So that was it. See this is how it works then. And you just pop them in. Um, the issue's going to be So 1525. So we'll confirm 1525. I don't have any from the goose wings yet. That's fine. Cool. So we got two flights today, and they should be happening pretty quickly. And they'll tell us if it's not working. So one more time. What's going on? So this one is arriving. What time is it? So it's taking off at noon, and it's arriving here at... Wait. So it's coming at noon. It's taking off at 3? Or is it arriving? I don't understand. That's confusing me a little bit. Let's get uh, let's get this one up and going too. Let's put it. Let's put it there. There we go. Let's confirm. Good. Works for me. So we're gonna get these three flights. Cooking here. Just kind of waiting now. No one's coming yet. <laughs> we're going. Hello. <laughs> We don't have any airlines coming in. What is going on? Uh, oh, our airport's not open. We should probably open our airport. Let's open the freaking airport and put our ramp services on. Derp a derp. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we've got our ramp agents going through. We've got some people coming into our little air. Let's slow down here. Let's take a gander. We got some. We got some peeps. Oh, I can go even slower. Like super slow mo. We got some peeps in the airport here. What are you doing? I don't know where you're going. Why are you getting in the bus? That's dumb. Oh, they got off the. Oh, look, they got off the airplane. There we go. 
So, we've got airplanes. Yay! It only took us three episodes, and they're not as big as I thought they were going to be, but they're airplanes nonetheless. <laughs> nonetheless. So, we've got our little small, small commercial flight, commercial airport cooking. Uh, so, these planes just landed, and they dropped off all their passengers. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, now when I go to flights, uh, 25, 25... Um, as long as we do a good job, they will be happy with us and we'll get more. And that's kind of how it's going to work. And these three gates will probably do us good for a while. Um, once we need some more, we'll probably have to start thinking about adding another check-in counter. You need The, the more gates you have, the more check-in counters you're going to need. That's pretty much how it operates. So that's about it. So, got someone using the restroom here. But here's the party. There they go. Oh, there's water that comes out of the sink. Look at that. Cool. Love it. Very nice. Very cool. So there you go. I feel good. I feel like we've like I've accomplished something. So we've got one more flight. Let me get into current flight number. So we have 19 passengers coming in. We have one in the airport. We have one departing aircraft. Oh, there it goes. Let's watch it go. Look at that. There it goes. Oh, I can push shift and it gets, moves it slower. We can get a little air. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Mm hmm. Woo! Where is it? Is there anything? Let's, let's go take off down here. I love it. The details on the planes are really nice. I mean, I know that it's a 2D top down. But I mean, that looks really nice. There it goes. I love the way it looks. So it's going to stop. Is it going to pause there, or is this going to blow right through? Oh, it paused. There it goes. Turns the corner. Oh, there it goes. Let's watch it take off. <gasps> and there it goes. Bye-bye, airplane. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. Now we have people coming in for a flight. Check it out. They're checking in. That's nice. That works so well. What are they saying? Blah, 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 blah. Boarding pass. Blah, 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 blah. Check in. And they're going to go through security. There's only six of them, so, but eh. Someday. <laughs> Someday we'll need a line this big. I might actually get rid of the queue. It's a little long. <laughs> Ooh, I have a... Who's floating? Betty Jones, you is floating. Well, I'm glad you're walking now, Betty Jones. Oh, you're going to go work. Okay, so another thing we might want to do is we might want to have a staff-only security checkpoint that they can use to get through because they keep coming back to the staff room or to com combat that. We could have a staff room over here that they don't have to keep leaving security to go hang out in. Either one of those will probably work well. And my ramp agents are just chilling in the seats, <laughs> taking naps. That's pretty cool. And so once they go through security, they're going to go hang out at their gate, which is the third one here. They're going to sit and wait for their airplane to arrive. So, that being said, I told you we'd get airplanes eventually. It only took me a long time to figure out what to do. So, <laughs> I mean, that's going to do it for this episode of Airport CEO. But now that we know what's going on, we can go from here. Uh, I want to I uh, procure some um, food options. I want to do more bathrooms. I want to grow. I want to make sure I want to juggle a bunch of different flights all at once. So that's what's going to be coming up in the series. And then once we get enough money, uh, we're, we're losing two grand here. So hopefully as the planes come rolling in and as they trust us and we get more and more airlines, we'll start making a profit, start growing some money, and then we're going to buy the next plot of land, expand the runway, and then we'll transition into medium-sized commercial airlines. So that's kind of the plan that we're going with here. So hope you're excited. Hope you're enjoying. I thought this was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm having fun with this game. This game is so much fun to play. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see you for the next episode of Airport CEO. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>